asking for the euros today we're going to see some interesting topics how to add a confirm password text box in the asp.net confirm password text box means it's like uh, we are adding some uh, password field uh, there is one more field called confirm password you saw in something called as in gmail or some uh, some other uh, good interesting websites you can see these following things you can confirm the password to enter into the block like this actually what is the thing means it, it must be matched with the text box for example there is a, a field called new password and confirm password you are giving some password called xyz you need to confirm the same password to authenticate the org this field is known as confirm password let me see how to fix this Here I just adding the one more the tag. This is a validation called compare to validation. Yes, this is a one more the tag which come under that ASP is a compare validator. We can use this compare validator to compare the fields which we need to be. Here we are adding the control to compare. You you just give the ID which text box you need to compare just copy this id and paste it over here and give control to compare which text box you are going to validate for example you are giving the text box as a confirm password you just need to give that id to control to validate field let me see how it's work just post some error message as a password is not matched or something like this Yeah, before that you need to change this text mode. I will show you with and without text mode uh, the field. First we see the about with and uh, with without text mode text mode. Yeah, because the password mode it will hide the field what you are entering. So we use this without text mode as a single line text mode, and we let me see how it works. I will show you the both example here. I am just giving this four color as red to mock the error message as red. I am just debugging this one. I am using starts without debugging to run this application. Debugging mode is mostly used while using the C-Sharp to link that means we are using the server side control that time we can use this debugging mode to find this error or rectify this problem ok let me see this these things in a C sharp tutorial I am just entering some field it will ascertain let me see how it works because now I am giving the text mode as a password so it hides the fields what we are entering ok Here I will show you without 
text mode possible I am just changing to the single line control let me see I'm just removing this text mode here. I'm just reloading this. Sorry. It has the confirmation to reload because the application is running. Yeah, I am typing something ASD. The same thing, it, it won't throw an error. If I type some other characters, it will show throw the error. Mm, yes, it's throwing the error because it's the the field is not matched. The control to compare and control to validate. Yeah, that's it. Today tutorial. Today you learned how to validate this using the confirm password password with confirm password thanks for watching dude please subscribe our channel for more videos thanks